We just left Greenville after our performance this morning at First Presbyterian. We just ate lunch at a Mexican, Mexican joint. Yeah. Hello, everybody. We're at the home of doing? Carl what is Samberg. That? Is, that is that the main house? We got a we got a lake right here. Or a pond. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it's a pond, right? Or a lake. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a big pond slash lake, and we're at um a house. We're at Carl Sandberg's house. He was a poet and was considered the voice of America. So what just happened is we visited the Carl Sandberg house and the reason they moved there was because they needed more room for the goats. It's dog Horses! Don't get the laddie! We gotta get them over here though. Right now we're just like checking out some goats. He's gonna get your shoes. I'm pretty sure. My feet are wet. I didn't want you good enough to see this cute little goat. Lassie, I got some better. <laughs> Buddy! Hello! Guys, we saw some goats! Oh, uh, we're saying goats? And we just saw a shed. With some old cars. Old cars. Is it just a giant? What is it? It says it's field mustard. Field cabbage. mustard? Uh, a species of cabbages. Oh no, it does say no. wild turnip. You can't get out. No, Isaac, you can't escape. Right now we're at the Bon Clarkin Music Festival. <laughs> we're, at, we're at Bon Clarkin. It's really cool. It's nice and outdoorsy. Um, we're in this cabin over here. White Oak Cottage. It's um. Oh, there's there's. Say hey, Mr. White. Uh, we've got to the camp. This place is full of nature, and it's a pretty great place. Four rooms, with about ten or so people in each, <laughs> and it's it's quite fun. Now we're going to watch a movie in the movie room at the camp. We are about to watch the Sandlot. There is one all-time greatest moment in the history of sports. It's nice and pretty here. It's morning now. We're eating breakfast with everybody else. After breakfast, we're going to rehearse in the chapel and then perform in their morning worship service. But eventually, we're doing like a, a demonstration of our warm-ups. Now let's just start. Today's my birthday. I'm excited. Happy birthday, Gavin. Happy to have this choir here, David White, the conductor. I'm going to turn it over to David. It's uh, it's really just a great honor for us to be here. How many of you run a community boy choir? Uh, one. <laughs> All right, good. Most of you are, I assume, church musicians who are here and you work with children of various abilities and ages. What I do is I start them even at the very youngest age trying to build and understand the idea of how to use their body as a musical instrument, how to use their entire body. So, gentlemen, I have a question for you. Uh, what is the primary, most important, fundamental of good singing? Breathing. Breathing, breathing. Thank you very much. Now, most of you are breathers, um, and have been, <laughs> and have been for all your life. That's the very first thing and the very last thing you do, we can't sing without breath. Not just because we would be dead, but because the voice is a, is a, is a, is a wind instrument. So let's stand, gentlemen. So we're gonna talk about uh, the, the posture of breathing. Feet shoulder width apart, our knees flexible, hips tucked in, sternum raised, shoulders down and back. Now tuck out all your breath. Get rid of all of it, don't breathe in. Now let go. What automatically happens? The breath comes in. We talk about taking a breath. We don't actually need to take the breath. What we need to do is receive the breath. Sit like you want to, right? With your, with your rib cage poking into your belly. Tug out all your breath. Get rid of it. Now let go. What happens? You die from lack of breath until you take the breath. In uh, England, they refer to the voice break. We use voice change. How about we have uh, Isaac uh, and Jackson, um, and Quinn, can you three guys come up here? 
when we're warming up and doing things together, they do the same exercises. Obviously, there, there's a there's a strength and a power, but but what people need to realize so much, especially young singers, is how much how a great deal of overlap. The main thing I think in when, when going through this is just to encourage. You. Because it can be discouraging sometimes, can't it? Right? We're in rehearsal, and I'm and I'm, I'm saying I need this more sound. I need this and this and this. And you're thinking I'm giving you all. <laughs> it's just not there. The main thing is, and we were talking about this the other day. It, it's just you know to, to love through it and realize that it's going to come through, and and they have to be courageous and bold and find out what find what works for them today. out of people of color. Yes. They came out of trials and tribulations, but they're about the human experience. This piece is important in this in, in the slave songs, in the spiritual sorrow songs is actually what they call. This was an important spiritual piece. This is one when when that African decided they were going to accept that there was actually Christ. This little light of mine. Everybody has light. There is something I think unique about a boy choir, organizations like this are so important. Why do you guys sing in this choir? Why do you sing in this choir? I like, like being here and singing because like I really like the sound that our choir makes. I feel like I'm proud to be in this choir. What makes you proud? It makes me proud because of like like the level of singing that some of us can get to, and like really when you start, like you're, you're not as good. But seeing our progress and that's really what makes it worth it to sing in the choir. What's your name? Uh, Demasia or? Demasia, okay. He told us about being the best person you could be. And this is what David is saying, what you're doing with these, these all these young men. Because it's more than the music. The music's a great thing. The music is a means of grace. In lifting them up to the best human beings, the best people, working for excellence. Yeah. Yeah. I can still sing high. We had a choral workshop. It was good. We got to we, we, we got to it. get tips from like professionals and stuff, and it was very fun. We did it, but, mm. Well, Demaji had an inspirational speech. It was so okay. inspirational. Look he at Demaji, man, holding a candle. It was good. It was a great time. I learned that I can do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I learned that each person has a light. I learned that if someone tells me I can't, uh, I can't. Yeah, same. I I learned that if I think sometimes I think I can't do it, but I can. You want to say your speech? Not again. <laughs> I can't say that again. It wasn't rehearsed. And Will scored the goal for the tenor. Wait. He scored on the wrong goal. He scored on the wrong goal. All right, we're currently playing a very intense game of soccer. Tiger scored our only goal of the day. Um, yeah, let's, let's. Yeah, pretty fun. We did recreation. We um, went to the pool, swimming. Nice. Um, what else do we do? Soccer. In the soccer game, it was tenors versus bases, and tenors won even though they had like five people versus like four. Yeah, and it was I was hilarious. On the team and my yeah. I was on the tenor team. Too. And then we did her and, and we're about to do a concert. <laughs> yep. Uh, we are currently sitting around a massive bonfire. Uh, that the nice people at the camp prepared for us, and everybody's making s'mores. Oh my gosh, man, that's yeah, so
There I'm roasting mine perfectly. Steven. The goal is to just no, do it before. until it's falling off. The process is a very uh, delicate one. Very elaborate. It's an elaborate one. Yes, thank you, Armin. You take this. So you you want to make sure you get that nice crispy coat on your marshmallow. Okay. So uh, yeah, you want to make sure you get it right above the flame, not in the flame, right above the flame. All right. And uh, hope and pray it doesn't burn. He roasts his s'mores, and everybody's like burning the sticks and stuff, and it's... It's a reward for completing the Soul's yeah. concert here. Yeah. Thank you guys for following us on our tour. If you'd like to donate, go to the link below, and also subscribe for more vlogs.